Aldridge. Well, as most of us watch the 2024 NFL draft from the comfort of our homes, Buffalonians Dr. Tide Caldwell and his wife Courtney traveled all the way to Colorado Springs in hopes of hearing their son's name called. You see like the name of a per of a team that you know that Trey has been to. You're like, oh, maybe this is it. Maybe they're going to call his name right now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You ready to go? That phone call came on day three of the draft. Trey Taylor was selected by the Las Vegas Raiders. He's the first defensive back from the United States Air Force Academy to be drafted. A testament to his hard work and dedication. When you're a service cadet and when you're in the, the conference that he in Mountain West, they don't think that your uh, opponents are worthy enough to say that you're great. However, the 2023 Jim Thorpe Award winner didn't let the doubts of others stand in his way. Instead, he continued to perform at the highest level. And he really showed up and showed out on Pro Day. And then more people started watching his film and saying, OK, you know what, the Jim Thorpe winner, he's really got something. Making Buffalo their home and seeing Trey land an interview with the Buffalo Bills, the Caldwells were hopeful to see their son play at Highmark Stadium. We were hoping that if the if the Bills chose him, he would have, you know, had a home there as well. But, you know, at the end of the day, uh, the team that wanted to pick him. The Codwells tell me the family also celebrated a distant cousins draft day, which just happens to be the Bills third pick, Dwayne Carter. They say they haven't met him in person just yet, but they did send their congratulations and a dinner invite upon their arrival back to Buffalo. Reporting in the studio, Brianna Aldridge, Seven Sports.